Hi everyone, Chris Rogers from Scientech here. I have something really exciting today that I, I want to show you. It is a product which I think is quite revolutionary in our industry, which is going to help us to A, afford and B, get everything kind of in one box. In our business, one of the biggest challenges is, is getting products to integrate. We have seen some customers who buy products that should work together and they don't. Sometimes even ourselves, we try and install stuff and get it working together and it doesn't work particularly well. And that's because there's dissimilar communications technology. Most installations are built of multiple components. There's the inverters, there's the batteries, there's chargers, there's fuse boxes and switchover boxes. We have multiple boxes because you have manufacturers who focus on a, a single thing. So they focus on producing inverters or batteries and very few do all of them. And as you can see from the, from the picture associated here, that is typ a typical installation. Nothing wrong with any of those products. They all work really well. It's one of our own installations, but it's, it's quite a lot of stuff stuff that's all put together, so it's a bit messy. There are a few other integrated units that look the same as what I'm going to show you, but they are different components from different manufacturers put into one box. That is not what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to show you something really, really innovative. So Fox ESS is the company that I'm talking about. They are part of the Tsingchen Group, a Fortune 500 company, and they have come to market with a product which I believe is really innovative. It's affordable. It incorporates all of the technologies that we need. It's neat. It's tidy. Gets away from all of the different boxes. And that product is the Fox ESS. To give you an idea of the size perspective, I'm 1.76 meters tall, so it's pretty much uh, as tall as I am. So you need a 1.8 meter space to put it into. So how does this connect into your home? And, and I have to say that the Fox ESS is specifically designed for the residential space, although you could use it in a, in a small office as well. So this is your DB or distribution board that most houses, every house has it if they have electricity. So the electricity comes in from the street into the distribution board. This is where the Fox connects to the Eskom grid. That's important because you may want to use the Fox really as a backup system before you start to use it as a solar system as well. So you can take in power into the Fox and store it in the batteries. And I'm going to give you a, a look under the hood of what's inside the Fox in a minute. The upward going trunk would go up onto the roof. It would be a DC connection up to strings of solar panels on your roof. So in that instance, you're creating your own energy during the day using the solar power, which the batteries would store, but it also would be able to, to draw power from the Eskom grid, but it would obviously reduce your Eskom bills by using the solar whenever it can. Okay, so Fox is drawing power both from the grid and from your own generation, which is on your roof, and storing it into batteries inside the unit. You don't have to necessarily do the solar piece. You could start with just tanking energy from the grid, so like a big Jojo tank. You put energy into the batteries, and then if there's a, a grid failure, it will automatically switch over in 20 milliseconds. You don't even see it. Your DSTV decoder does not reboot. Uh, it's completely seamless. What's inside the Fox? In the top section, we have the inverter, and then in the bottom, we have the battery. Between is some breakers, and on the, the sides, I can show you there's also all the DC and AC breaker switches. So it's all built into one neat, tidy box. So this is the setup screen on the left-hand side of the unit. It is used for system setup, diagnostics, history, all of the typical stuff that you would want to see from your system. What is the state of charge of the batteries? How much energy did I generate today? All of those things you can view on the side of the unit. But if you look closer, you'll see it also has a little blue Wi-Fi logo. And that is because it has built-in Wi-Fi so that you can contact it via an app that you have on your phone and you can see all of this stuff remotely, no matter where you are via the internet. This is the left-hand side of, of the Fox. You have the isolator switches for the batteries, the EPS isolator switches, you have the Wi-Fi dongle and the DC isolator switch, all integrated onto the side of the unit. So these switches would typically be when you're pulling batteries in and out of the unit, or if something, if you have a surge, they will trip. The usual type of, of switches that you would have on a wall, typically in a separate box when you install these kinds of units, but these are integrated into this unit. The Wi-Fi dongle, we spoke about the fact that the unit incorporates Wi-Fi. This will talk to your router. You will then have on your phone, whether it's iOS or Android, you will have an app that can actually communicate with this unit from wherever your phone is, so you could be overseas even if, it, if, if need be, and you could actually see what's going on on the unit. Okay, so we've now turned the unit. That's the dongle on the left. This is now the rear of the unit. 
probably the first thing you'll notice is this massive heat sink because it uses passive cooling. In other words, it doesn't have fans that are running incessantly in the background. It just cools itself using this heat sink technology. Then your connectors, you have the emergency power system at the top, the on grid, so that connects obviously to the grid. That would be to your meter. So typically in these setups, you will have a meter that connect would be connected into the rear of the, this unit. So I can see how much energy is flowing. You also have a hard ethernet, so an ethernet cable or RJ45 connection. Some people don't have Wi-Fi, but they, you know, they, they may have an ethernet connection, but, and it's also a bit more reliable. And then of course your PV connections, which go off to your solar panels. Just below the uh, Wi-Fi dongle that you saw, there is your battery bay. Two batteries, another two go in here below, uh, and you can literally slot in additional storage. So each battery is 2.6 kilowatt hours, so here we have 5.2 kilowatt hours. Below another 5.2, so a total of 10.4 kilowatt hours. This handle has a similar one on the other side, so that two people can literally carry the box from either side using these handles into position. These holes at the bottom, they provide you with a template it matches, there's two here, two on the other side. So literally you put the template on the floor, drill the four holes, carry the unit in, put it in place, bolt it down. As you can see, we've put wheels on this particular unit, but you could put it onto rails, you could bolt it to the floor, whatever way you want to do it, you can do it. So we've used this because this is our demo unit, the wheels work quite well. Right, so Fox ESS, as you can see, really neat, tidy, incorporates everything. Uh, the power of it is in its software actually, because it all comes from one place, one suite of software. Everything talks to everything uh, nice and coherently. It's available in a single phase, three to six kilowatts, kilowatt inverters, and you can have it with 5.2 kilowatt hours of battery or up to 10.4 kilowatt hours of battery. There is also a three phase unit, which comes from five kilowatts to 10 kilowatts. There's a seven and an eight in between, a six or seven and an eight in between. Um, but probably you would do six or eight or 10. But the cool part about it is that literally you buy it as a 5.2 kilowatt hour or a 10.4 kilowatt hour in terms of the battery and anything from three to 10 kilowatts. So it's kind of sized already for you, but you can scale it. So that's the cool part about Fox. The real beauty of this unit is that it cuts down the installation time dramatically. Literally, you can install this unit in 30 minutes. If you have the electrician there to incorporate into the DB board, whatever work he's got to do, but to actually install this unit and get it up on the air uh, should take no longer than, than 30 minutes, which means a five or 10 kilowatt system with the normal uh, solar panels array now takes a day rather than two or three days. That saves you money, saves us money and saves us time. The communication capability, again, saves us money, saves time. Uh, because we can communicate with it f from anywhere and pretty much do anything with it, probably 90% of everything we need to do uh, if something does go wrong. Pricing starts at about 80,000 Rand and moves all the way up to 150,000 Rand for the 10 kilowatt uh, three phase. If you compare that with comparable multi box products, it's, it's very competitive and Obviously the batteries that you use in there are lithium iron, so they would have a, a life cycle, probably 5,000 hours of life each battery. So if you were using it on a solar system, they would charge and discharge pretty much every single day, and then you can replace the batteries in the future. And that's quite cost effective. So one of the questions is, well, what can I actually run in my house with this? Often the way to start this is to do start with an energy audit. We have some very clever ways of making that a, a much quicker process now using a piece of software. But typically what you would put onto a backup system is things like your fridges, a microwave, lights, but yeah, your general household essential items you would put onto the, the Fox SS. Not things like geezers, not things like stoves and ovens, possibly some kind of fish pond or something like that. Those are unfortunately things we call inductive loads. So you have pump motors, they take a lot of power. So you try to avoid those if you can. Your average house, we talk about the 1000 kilowatt hour house, that's per month. That's what a, a typical household uses. So if you were to divide that by 30 and break that down, look at what a normal house has, and you look at the essential loads, you would want to run things like your fridges, a microwave, some lamps, the light circuits would probably be connected, lights and plug circuits would be connected into this via the DB board as we showed you earlier. This would probably give you in its, its biggest configuration 
sort of six to seven hours backup time per day. It's also important to note that because you can have solar as well, if you have a long outage, as soon as the sun rises in the morning, the unit will start recharging the batteries and you will have power. So if it runs out, if the batteries run out of power during the night, during a long outage, you know, multiple days, as soon as the, the, the sun rises again, it will start charging the unit and then you will, have, you will have power again. While you're using power during the day, once the batteries are filled, you can obviously use that power within the household. Uh, you can also do what they call peak shaving. Peak shaving is the practice of using the batteries during peak time. So your electricity utility will charge you during nighttime hours, say 5 to 8 p.m. in the evening, will charge you a higher tariff. So what you can do is say, well, I've, I've been charging my batteries all day. I'm going to discharge my batteries now and use that for my power. And when they run out, they run out. Hopefully you don't have load shedding after that because, or, or a power outage after that because then you've used it to, to save yourself some money. But uh, if you've, depending on how, what size batteries and what you're using, you can actually use it to balance so that you have a little bit of backup left and you can, you can shut off using the batteries at a certain cutoff point. And that's, that is decided by the homeowner as per your usage of the unit. So the most exciting part I, I, th I think of this product is that we are now going to be offering it as a rental unit to the residential market. We haven't been able to do this before. A lot of people don't have 100 or 150,000 Rand lying around but they would like to have a backup system and maybe grow it to a solar system or have the whole thing from the beginning. So if you'd be interested in, in, in buying a Fox or renting a Fox, you can contact us at sales at scientech.co.za or click one of the links below and we'd be glad, glad to come out and help you. If you would like to see the Fox physically as, as I am here, you can see we have it here in our offices, you're welcome to come in and we'll walk you around, show you exactly what it looks like, but you've probably seen quite a bit today. I think it's a very exciting product. It's very, very affordable comparatively with all these installation savings. And if you can rent it, of course, that is very attractive for most homeowners because let's face it at the moment, uh, times are pretty, pretty tough. But we do know that we have also issues with our grid. So if you're going to invest in something, be it through rental or through purchasing, I would recommend you take a serious look at the Fox ESS.